Chris Rodinas, Research Analyst for IT Creations, and today we will be looking at benchmarks for Dell's T5600 workstation. For each benchmark, we use the same T5600 with BIOS version A0. Hyperthreading is on when available. 128 gigabytes of RAM using 8 16 gigabyte ECC 12800 ARM memory. 1 terabyte RAID 0 volume using two 512 gigabyte Samsung SSD 840 Pro. NVIDIA Quadro 6000 graphics card. Graphics driver version 311.35. Windows 7 64-bit professional set to best performance. We tested 11 different Intel Xeon E5 2600 processors with hyper-threading enabled when available. Each tested using Cinebench 11.5 Sandra Light 2013 SP3 Spec APC Maya 2012 with Maya 2013 Spec View Perf 11.0 and Passmark performance test 8.0. Here are the results running Cinebench 11.5 and as you can see the Intel Xeon E5 2687 had the best performance mark for the Xeon processors with a 25.11 and the E5 2690 coming in second with 24.37. Next we ran Sandra which tests the overall performance of the workstation. But this time, the Xeon E5 2690 came out on top with an overall score of 20.59 kpt. Now, testing Maya 2013 with spec APC Maya 2012, we can see that the E5 2690 had the highest CPU score with 4.19 and a GFX score of 3.23. But the E5 2687 had a higher GFX score with a 3.34, but a lower CPU score with only 4.17. Using Passmark 8.0, we can see that the E5 2687 scored a 5671, just 23 and a half points over the E5 2690. Remember that each test used dual processors and performance may vary, especially in real world situations. Well, that's all for the T5600 benchmarks. We hope this video has been helpful. And if you want to know more, feel free to visit us online at itcreations.com or call us at 800-983-5318. I'm Chris Rodinas and we'll see you next time.